Hey, T. Rubens back in the building. <laughs> we got your boy, me, Eclipse, in the building. Team Ruthless member number one. We got OG Hung Lu OG. and Christian with no nickname because he's a lame. Yes. But that's my boy. We missed him. We missed him on the podcast. Yes. So, uh, what we started off with again? 9 11. 9 11. Where was y'all at? Freaking something. I was five years old. That's crazy. Five years old. I was ten. Wait. I had no. Yeah, I was ten. I had no concept nine. of even what was happening. Yeah, it'd have been like eight or nine. I was nine. How old are you? I'm twenty-seven. You just turned twenty-seven? No. Actually, so then you were like eight or nine. You were like eight or nine. Oh, I was eight. Man, I'm, I'm terrible. Eight or nine, yeah, yeah. Especially on the it's podcast. Like <laughs> <laughs> the podcast matches up for me, though. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Cognitive function. What grade is that? Third? At nine? Yeah, sounds about That's, right. Yeah. Third grade. Four. I'm pretty nine. sure I was third. Because I'm pretty sure I remember what my teacher was. My, my kid is eight and he'll be nine and he's in third right now. So. Yes. Yeah, so Miss Matthews wow. was my teacher and she's like freaking out. And I couldn't tell she was freaking out, but I could tell she was acting weird. Yeah, like they, something was off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were supposed to go to recess and they just held us in the classroom. I was like, no, you can't go to recess. And I was like, yeah, this fucking blows. Yeah. So, like, what are we going to do? And they just kind of held us in the classroom. We didn't do anything. And I think they asked our parents to get us early. <coughs> so we went home, and then it's on the TV. And my mom's, like, watching the replay of it happen. And I saw it, but I don't know. I didn't I guess being 90 didn't hit me or, I don't know, it looked like a movie or something. That's kind of, yeah. 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 That's it like fair. a movie. It didn't seem real. I'm sure. Yeah. I, just, I didn't, I didn't understand think about it. I was like, what was going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I didn't understand. Like, I almost want to say, I was like, yo, they took us out of school for that. That's in New York. <laughs> but I'm yeah. laughing about it now. But yeah. again, I was nine. I don't think I was really understanding what was going on. And I don't, I don't think it hit me until like way later that how tragic it kind of was. It was definitely tragic. Like, and then when I I think it hit me more when I was seeing videos of people running from like the the debris and stuff on the street mm-hmm. than when the planes actually hit the building. I remember yeah. watching because the raw footage of the people jumping. Yeah, yeah I think that, that hit me hard too. And that I was, was kind of like, fuck. I I I'll never forget. I always thought about it like think about how bad that shit was in there. How yeah. hot it was in there. The oh, fire yeah, burning and shit that they thought it was a, they had a better option in jumping off a multi floor or no like second to tallest empire building. Still state building like wasn't that the second tallest building yeah, yeah, yeah so. something like that around the world I think. yeah so people decided to jump off from like the freaking it was sad not, man yeah sad. Then they said crazy, like 3,000 people yeah, body count something like that thousand. which is actually a and then I also thought about the people that For were terrorists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For a terrorist attack, that's a lot of casualties. Like Yeah. That I don't think there's many that hit no. a thousand, much less three thousand. And then the Because most terrorist attacks are like in the hundreds there, you know, sometimes yeah. sometimes in the hundreds. Yeah. And then the Pentagon building they hit right yeah. after that. That's the one where I'm like Yeah. I don't know, man. That's I a little strange. Not to mention Respect. Building seven. Respect. Yeah. Y'all good. So I was, I was in. This is all I can say. This is all like. This is. These are my two cents. I was in Arlington, Virginia. Well, I was born and grew up in Arlington, Virginia, mm-hmm. till I was ten years old. Then we would move to um, Dale City, which was like forty minutes outside. You know what I mean? Of oh, of, DC. of DC and Arlington. Mm-hmm. So that day, I remember going to school. We were in school, and then like, I just noticed like everybody was being checked out, you know, because you mm-hmm. know the parents would come in, talk to the office, 
And then um, they called the kids from the school in the fucking box, um, loud boxes that were on the walls. Before. Yeah, yeah. They be like, hey, it's so and so's parents. Here. So I, I like start noticing people like just scrambling, check checking out. Like mm. parent, a lot of parents picking up the kids like more than usual, ever. And I was like, man, yeah, it was man. weird. Bro. And I was just like, but it never really dawned on me, and like nobody really said nothing. So I was just mm. like, man, that's weird. Like, why is everybody checking out? Like. Mm. And it was like, cause the school was pretty empty. I remember just playing Beyblades. Beyblades. <laughs> Beyblades on the seats, cause the seats had like a little dip to them. So yeah. we used to just rip it right there, Paul. Childhood and um, man. So like, we were in school all day. So then when I got home, my mom, we lived in a townhouse. So my mom and my stepdad were in the basement watching TV. And um, I got home like, and I could hear the the uh, news going off in Spanish. Mm-hmm. And I could hear them saying something. Oh, oh no, because on school I kept hearing terrorists. We got terrorists oh. attacking us. Terrorists That's attacking wild. us. Yeah. And in my fucking head, as a fucking 11 or 12 year old, I'm thinking like, we got some fucking terrorists with fucking tout, you know, the um the rags around them. Like, yeah. um, uh, the, the Turban. turbans around them. Mm-hmm. And, um, god damn, I said tout, what the fuck? Yeah, the turbans. And, um, I kept, like, envisioning them with, like, fucking suicide vests, like, bombs. Yeah. With, like, mad guns walking down the street and yeah, just shooting yeah. shit up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was my my thought. So, when I got home, I went, I was like, yo, what's going on? And my, my mom was like, yo, don't say nothing. And my stepdad was like, nah, I'll tell him. Like, yo, this is what's mm-hmm. going on. And I'm like, what? So, I started saying And then they were saying, she was saying about... Because my mom also worked in Arlington. Although we moved out of Arlington, mm-hmm. my mom still worked in Arlington, and she worked for um, the the government over there. Okay. So like she um, she worked in this building, and she she said because she was a, uh, she did um, she was a custodian. Okay. So she was like she had her own floors to clean or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she always cleaned the windows, and she said that um, she was turned around. And, and then like she was cleaning the window and then turned around and then the fucking that's when what the plane hit the pentagon mm. and she said that shit was so fucking loud I it bet. like shook everything like you could feel shit shaking yeah. you know because I mean? mm. it's not it wasn't that far from the pentagon Dude, like where she, where she lives where she cool. worked yeah. it was like maybe a mile or two away like Dude. Our building shake when a plane flies over us now. Dude, it so, would. Like, I can and she said, like, everything got evacuated. Everybody got the fuck out. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it was crazy. Like, my, my cousin lived in Landmark, mm-hmm. which is, like, halfway between both points mm-hmm. from Arlington to Dale yeah. City. And um, he said that he was watching the news mm-hmm. when the shit was going down. And then he heard a loud ass explosion mm-hmm. and then just started seeing smoke. And then that's when he saw it on the news, it popped up that it got hit in the Pentagon too. That's wild. He said, yo, what the fuck is going on? That's had to be scary, man. Yeah, but it was kind of wild yeah, living man. there. Between that, because I just didn't understand what was going on. But mm-hmm. between that and I think the next year was um, the DC sniper and all that shit all those oh, random shootings and shit mm-hmm. football season got cancelled that was mm-hmm. that was another y'all think crazy one how do y'all think people feel do y'all think I don't know how to say this but I kind of feel like 9-11 isn't held as like cause when it first happened every year you know school moment of silence or whatever yeah, definitely. and you know we just went through the whole day and I didn't hear not one person talk about it I mean, I saw some stuff on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody really. It's not like a. It's not like um. It's not like a uh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Like when that gets spread up, and it's a yeah. bigger casualty. You know yeah. I mean? Well, I feel like it's just it's not on the forefront of everyone's minds anymore. Yeah. And there's so much going on in like the geopolitical mm-hmm. like sphere that people are kind of like they have their minds elsewhere. Yeah. You know. Um, it's it's tragic. It's it's really sad. And and the thing about that is is like that event brought people together in a way yeah. that was like unprecedented mm-hmm. for our country. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I just think it's really sad that it takes something like that to bring people together. So, yeah, it's yeah. so tragic. So, yeah, definitely sad. You think if people would at least you know 
like just be like, hey, like we've been through worse times than this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we're t- definitely in a crazy part, and I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. But I definitely do think it could be way better. I definitely think the media has takes it. I think a the big, media in the internet, especially, they exaggerate. Yes. Like they make it more than what it really should be or is. Mm-hmm. But I, I definitely think people would sit there and be like, yo, especially like on a day like this, like. God, we've been through worse than this, and we've come together for for bigger moments than what it is now. Like we're gonna make it through. Just come together and do whatever we need to do to get done. Yeah. But so does these motherfucking politics start getting bigger, and this um this race start going, bro? All this shit's gonna go out yeah, the window. Out the one, That's the thing. Is like I feel like. I feel like right now our country is more divided than I I have ever experienced. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Granted, I'm I don't. I'm thirty, but I can't. I agree. Yeah, and and that's what I was about to say is like I perhaps my opinion on that isn't quite as valid mm-hmm. because I'm young and I haven't really I haven't been like considering um, the political atmosphere mm-hmm. of our country um, for very long, but still like. Even even in just like the last five years, I would say tensions have grown a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Things are so polarized. <laughs> it's like if you if you don't agree with me, then you're my enemy. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's sad that bad. we see that it's like we see that. each other People like that. People are very sensitive mm-hmm. on top of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. and I mean that's the cause of being sensitive. But still, you have those. It's like a cycle. Yeah, you know? because the I don't think the vision itself isn't a bad thing. People are thinking different. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing. You want people to be able to look at something different ways. But when you can't settle it over just communication or it's kind of just bad. Like, And my, my opinion on that is that the state of things right now is that people associate their political views so closely with their identity... Yeah. That if you disagree with my political views, then that is an attack on my identity. Mm-hmm. And that is kind of like the mindset that I feel like is really prominent that's what's right wrong. now. And that's yeah. what's wrong about everything. Yeah. I don't know, but <clears throat> to enlighten this conversation. For real, yeah, this is yeah, too deep. Shit. I will call it duty, here. baby. Anyway. I will sit here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we do that, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Had Yo, an that's... awesome little skit about that shit about nine eleven and, and like so he was like he he was like you know I, I'd like to thank he was like it was all sad you know he's like and then he turned around and was like but I would like to thank all the Muslims in behalf of all niggers because <laughs> he's taking the fall the new niggers since nine eleven there's something to God. that effect I mean, that shit was funny yeah. it was really funny man did y'all see his last stand up man I did. I did. On Netflix? Yeah. It, I think I saw... It was pretty good, man. It. All these people talking... Like, it wasn't his greatest. No. It wasn't but his it was, greatest. Yeah. But, but it was it. good. Yeah. It made me laugh. And he talked about a lot of real shit. That's yeah. what I like. You know, a lot of real shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't... Again, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't his greatest. I'm a... He's my favorite comedian, but I can see him and say... It wasn't his greatest mm-hmm. as, as far as making me laugh. Yeah. But... They had zero rotten, rotten Tomatoes gave it a zero percent. Uh, really? That's is that the one where he, he, he talked about like abortion and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That shit, that skit was funny. It was that real really was. and didn't make you a little uncomfortable, but it was funny. And that's what's great about it because comedians are supposed yeah. to make light about. They are supposed to bring up topics that are current, and then make light of certain things, and then also on top of that, bring awareness and put. You are supposed to make people uncomfortable. Yeah, like that's the point of everything. Like protesting. You know, this Colin Kaepernick, and I'm not going to get too deep into that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, Colin Kaepernick taking a knee. Um, Martin Luther King back in the day. Because, yeah, today it doesn't look like much. Today we're like, oh, no, he did a great thing. But yeah, back yeah. in those days, what was that, 50 years ago? In yeah. the fucking, what was, was that, like, the 60s? Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah, back in those days, it wasn't viewed like that. Then it was viewed like, oh, this oh, is fucking nigga over here. Yeah, he's fucking yeah. complaining. Yeah. And he should be grateful that we... Yeah. Jim Crow laws. Yeah, what the he has fuck a job. That? Yeah, he should be grateful. He <laughs> he's being paid he for the work he does. He's not, you know what I mean? And like today, in our eyes, because we're so accustomed to what we've yeah. grown up with, we don't view it like they they had it. Like you know what I mean? So it's like I don't know. It's, it's just it's easy to take the good things we have for granted. 
right. and, right. and not see that there are still bad things that right. we can right. work on. Exactly. Just yeah, because yeah. things are better than they were doesn't necessarily mean we yeah. should stop trying to make them better. Yeah, yeah. right, right. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't have said that better myself. Mm -hmm. You guys want to roll today, bro? Yeah, 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 bang, bang, bang. <laughs> well, speaking of bang, bang, bang. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Oh, <laughs> that is into that. <laughs> <next section. laughs> like you that. are hyped about it than I am. I'm not even hyped about it. I like it. We got that fucking... one match I played pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I went 8 and 1, and I was like, I can't play this. Cut it anymore. off. Oh, yeah, exactly. 8.0 eight KD. Cut it off. That's like, that like being <laughs> in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. I got the high hand, I'm out. <laughs> Keeping the money. It was pretty solid, though. I mean, I think we talked about this. Did we talk about I think this? we did talk. Did we talk about it? I think yeah. so. I was out right here. The mechanics right. were pretty good. It was heavier. Yeah. It was slower. I liked it because it was a little more realistic. Yeah. 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 Uh, recoiled weapons when you shot. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Pistols were cool as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like how, even though it was a 2v2, you had the... Um, I like the maps. The maps were cool. And so then there also, were multiple maps? Yeah, there, there were was, five maps. Really? I only did I think it was three. Five. I want to well, say five. I'm pretty sure it was five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. But um, it was a 2v2, and I like the way that they did the random weapons. I did it like, until I got a rocket launcher. Not, not <laughs> yeah. like gun game, but yeah, like... Yeah, there are a lot of the kinda, mm -hmm. So, like, I played the map that was like, there was like, um, the cargo things. In the what, the, the like the warehouse? Map. I think so. Was it, it, was, it was outside. Was it a gun range? No. I'm not sure. It almost looked like a freight yard or something. There was like was it like two buildings. I might not have did that level. I don't know, maybe not, because it was like um, there was containers in, in a lot of them. Though. That was the thing. I might not have did that oh, level. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, I only. Were the containers the in the middle or in the right side? Or yeah, on I think side? on. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, on and one you side said you can course? pass through it. Yeah. I don't know. I did it though. I don't know. It was cool. I, I liked it. Yeah. It was cool, but it, like I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking. For, obviously, everyone knows I've been looking forward to it for a while. But yeah. like when I played it, I was like, "Oh, cool! This is great." I'm kind of tired. Yeah, because you know I mean? it was like two v two, and it was like I'd kill two guys. I'm like, I'm, I want the next guy. I want my kill streaks on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it was like done. And I'm like, ah. it, was good. it was solid. It was I, good though. I feel like I couldn't fairly um, judge it off of that. I mean, yeah, yeah still there was some it. stuff I can see what I could look forward to like it was it's Call of Duty yeah exactly like, but not you know whatever Call of Duty is now <laughs> it's, yeah. it was you oh, know Jack, Modern Warfare Black, Warfare. 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 Yeah. Black yeah. Ops felt more like Black Ops to me a little bit Black Ops? yeah like Black Ops 1? yeah Black Ops 1 that. I feel like Call of Duty I feel like Modern Warfare 1 and maybe 2 but mm. definitely sprinkled with a lot of Battlefield yeah. Gameplay on there. Okay. It does feel very mechanic yeah, yeah, yeah. wise, it does feel it's a little like, more yeah, like yeah. Battlefield. Because Battlefield, the guns always felt kind of <coughs> heavy. Yeah. 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 So, it's more realistic. Yeah. yeah. So and I'm, I'm more, hoping. The animations were really good as well. Yeah. The animations were really fluid. Um, Like the gun sway on your actual person, yeah. like the person that you were controlling, the gun sway was really good. Yeah. It looked. It didn't feel like I'm just walking around like <laughs> right, right, right. This, exactly. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah, I'm, I have high hopes for it. I'll you know, tell you right now, not spending sixty dollars. <laughs> <like that. laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna do it because I want to uh, start streaming. Yeah, and that's going. I'm gonna try and use that yeah. platform as my. I will. But, I'm probably not gonna get it either. Um, I am kind of looking forward to the beta, mostly because it's free, and I do kind of. Huh? What's this? Some Skittles? Can they wrap some of that? Yeah, sure. My bad. Don't, Don't mean to bother. She has them think. tied up, but I'm thinking. Bro. Just on title. But, um, I think the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Every time we come over, bro, he's snagging on candy. Like, <laughs> had the lightsabers in the fucking glass downstairs. Forgot about it. He's like, sense. he's like, bro, can I get Yo, one? Yo, I smell chocolate. I was like, bro, I forgot I had them. And then he's munching on it. I'm like, damn, no, nah, I want one. Yeah. Oh, Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. Those, those shits were good. Or, they smell good. They smell better than it tastes like I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Just eat another one, bro. <laughs> yeah. But I think that when the game comes out with all the perks and stuff, I think I might enjoy it more. Yeah. And oh, I feel good. Get off of Apex for a little bit. It was good. It was a good little experience. I think yeah. now six v six, like more of the Call of Duty we've all known. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it'll feel better. But is there going to be? It a may game not. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Really? It's supposed to be crazy, bro. Is there a twist? It's supposed to be... Look, uh, what's twist? that shit? No More Russia? No yeah. Russian? No Russian, whatever no that mission is called. Russian? Hell supposed yeah. to make that look like kids play, yeah, bro. bro. Like a rated E game. Bro, I swear to God, that's what I, I heard. Believe, I'll believe it when I, I see swear it. I There's heard. no fucking way. Right, let me put it like this, okay? That's what they say. IGN dude. said, when they went to do the um, unveiling of it, mm-hmm. they showed like the first mission that they played. And the mission is like a team mm-hmm. goes in at night and um, raids a house that they suspect is full of terrorists. Oh. Right? And they get in there, mm-hmm. and they get in there, blow the when the doors open, go in, and then they take out a few of the um, insurgents, then like, the men are using the their wives' as body shield, and the people are just, you have to fucking, I don't know, boom, boom, killing people, then like the women are using their kids' as shield. See, yeah, like, but nah. then the women are also picking up guns, trying to shoot back too. Yeah. After you know, I mean, in certain scenes they were saying, mm. so it's like Call of Duty, bro. Dude, if they do that, that's, that's Call of Duty. kind of good because like it's yeah, it's you need that. It doesn't real. glorify war, right? Yeah. It shows the reality of it. Like this that, is the shit that actually happened. Yeah. That's know? what it should do. IGN was off, and it is it. This is too much. Remember they were talking about this shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. This makes me feel... And I looked at him like, this is fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking awesome, man. It's a good thing, man. We got we got to push the envelope a little bit now, man. It's For sure. Stuff's getting a little too... That, like, or we need to not that. push the envelope so much. Oh, depends meaning, on what's going on. Meaning, don't go so far. Oh, don't, don't be adding crazy. this wall climbing bullshit. Oh, I'm talking about in terms of like know, 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 serious content. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that's a lot of reason why I like games like Last of Us so much and that games where this you're not at the end of the game. You're not really might not be the hero. What's the ETA on that game? I don't know, man. I'm so it's sick. It's gonna of be a launch title for PlayStation. Yes, you 5. think? I that's think so I too. But but we haven't had no. I can't. I heard they have a. I bet it will be. I heard they will. Well, no, I can't because. They'll probably do both. How long you I think? Don't know. That's probably what they'll do. That's what they did with the first Last of Us. Yeah. Is they but released the first it towards the end so of the PS3. Well, it came out like pretty much right at um, the turn of the generation. Yeah. Because that was the thing was probably the last game. On it was PS3. it was basically a launch Big time game. for PS4, but it was Last of Us remastered. Mm. They'll probably do a similar thing. I think so. I think they'll do that with a lot of games. I hope so. That would be awesome. I just want to play it because I'll never forget the last mission. Where you're in that bar or whatever, oh, and you're being chased by that fucking maniac. That oh, that, yo, that, bro, that was crazy. It was creepy, it and I had to do it so many times. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't have that at one time. Creepiest part was when I was in the fucking... I don't even know where you were. You were just like under shit, there was water, and there was those big, ugly, bloated things walking around, and I don't think you had a way to kill it. Yeah, and you, you had just to had cut to the power on. Yeah, 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 that shit Wouldn't cool. they blow it by themselves? If you get too close oh, or something yeah. like that. Oh, I don't even remember. What if it saw you ran to your That's head. gotta be the best. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so scary. It looked like fucking Squidward. Like, <laughs> 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 Holy shit. That was fucking that shit. Was that was a good ass game. That was a good game. That's probably the best. No, it's the best story mode video game I played. Yeah. I, I definitely say it's. As, as far as like being entertained like a movie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely yeah. up there. You're like, oh. As a story-driven Even game, like, because like... then you would do things, and remember, like, when... Uh, so, refresh my memory, because I can't remember that well, but, like, when, when she was being chased by the older guy yeah. in the bar, mm-hmm. was that before or after the guy that she was with that was helping her was hurt? That was why he was hurt, Yeah, right? yeah, he was Recuperating hurt. and shit? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, after Joe? Jo- Joel. I can't remember. Joel. Joel. Yeah. Joel. 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 And, um... <laughs> it was just cool how we go from like one scene to another and then like they're hungry and they're scavenging and you gotta go mm. get the deer you gotta go shoot the deer with the bow and arrow yeah, yeah. yeah. and that shit would fuck if you didn't do it right it would run away and mm. you have to hunt yeah, it and track it down shit was annoying as fuck low key that was that was one of the best games and it it um 
overachieved anything I ever expected out of it. And the yeah. multiplayer for a linear was and the multiplayer yeah. was and I thought so it was gonna be good so too. trash. I did not expect that at all. Yeah. I didn't expect a good story mode, much less a good multiplayer. I knew the story was gonna be dope, but I thought this multiplayer was gonna be whack. And then my boy was like, "Yo, try it, bro. It's really fun." I was like, "All right, whatever, dude." Fuck it. Invite me. Ever. This is lit, bro. It's hard to understand at first, beast. but it was good. Like once you figured it out, mm, the yeah. fun they all know, it was fun. Yeah, it was they, fun. they they tried something new and it paid off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really dope. I liked it because they still they kept a lot of the aspects of the game and put it into the most. Shout part. out the Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> Hope we don't Get get that sponsor, sponsor, bro. Yeah, 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 man. please. Or Marshawn Lynch. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> Speaking of which, I know Chris don't know too much about this, but Antonio Brown, annoying ass. Little bitch. <laughs> what a little bitch, man. So annoying, bro. Uh, the helmet shit. That's a football player, right? Yeah, football player. That's stupid as fuck, right? Wide now. receiver. A little he was on the Pittsburgh Steelers. He wanted to leave the team. He did, but. Forced to trade to Oakland. Bullshit happened. What happened first? He fucking... His feet. His, yeah, his foot got... He went into one of those cryo chamber things. What? Didn't wear... What year is this? Yeah, didn't wear flip-flops. Seriously, though? Yeah, yeah. so his Actually, foot got... Yeah, it's like I it, they dropped down. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good for your... It's like a... Let's say like an octagon or like a circle. Mm-hmm. And it gets to like... Let's see your neck. Like a sensory deprivation? Chamber? Yeah, no I, idea. I, I think your head's out. But they they it blows yeah. a bunch of cold ass fucking air, and it just keeps it over. Uh, I didn't know they were using. Yeah, it. I thought that you were talking about cool. cryogenic, like like he's trying to freeze himself into the future. Or something. No, I was like, what? It was Disney. He was just it just yeah. heals your body or whatever below sub below zip. I don't know. Winter yeah, nah, it just drops the temperature real low. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it helps. It's supposed to help with the um, zero your healing. Things. They say like if you work it out, accelerates your healing. Yeah, until yeah, a like nigga get frostbite. Out, work out or play football with him, you know. Yeah, and supposed to apparently have proper foot, you know, footwear. Some kind of yeah. And apparently he didn't wear the right ones, and it fucked his feet up. Got frostbite on his feet. Yeah. It looked pretty nasty. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't look at it. I didn't want to see it. What did he post pictures on Instagram or something? No, I was oh. watching Hard Knocks on HBO. Oh, uh, I need to watch that. And I saw it on there. But um, that happened was bitching about the new helmets because they're supposed to I don't know I don't know why he bitched about it. he didn't like he was bitching but they're supposed to be further protect you so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the new NFL oh standard. there's a new design yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they banned all the other ones before <clears throat> yeah. the older ones so what happened after that then he, he called the GM, the GM a cracker yeah <laughs> which I thought no was no funny. he apologized to the team uh huh then came in the next day I think found out he was fined Oh, and when something. he got fined, yeah. he he lost his temp, his guaranteed money. He was guaranteed thirty mil. Yeah, yeah. So now none of it's guaranteed because he got fined, and then then he called the GM McCracker, right? Yeah. Then that happened. so then he was like, "Fuck it, release me," and then and they made it sound like it was okay. He was gonna play Sunday, got released Saturday. And then four o'clock, the Patriots picked him up. Same day. Same day. Five hours later, Patriots picked him up. I knew someone's gonna pick him up. I knew it. People didn't believe. It. I was like, they're gonna pick him up. I was this before the recent there. game where they played the Steelers? And this was one the day like before. Thirty-three to three. Mm-hmm. Everything. Fuck. Yeah. So now they're gonna win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Now they're gonna win the Super Bowl. Yeah. But now he has rape allegations. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Like, how can be something about that? And I don't. How convenient. I sucks because every time I hear rape allegations, I automatically don't believe them. Isn't that? Isn't and it that sucks because like, I, I don't believe them. If, like, yo, if you get raped, you a big ass fucking dude. So the chances of you getting raped are probably slim. But anyways, let's say you get raped. <laughs> I didn't know right? you were talking about me. Yeah, yeah said specifically. That. I was like, I was like what? anybody? But I'm saying you in specific. Like, if you I get don't raped. Think that's- and I don't think so either. No, I hope not. Fucking, yeah. yeah. I don't want to meet the dude that does it. <laughs> oh, Bebo looking all the way. my bike, bitch. Give me your boot. Looking like Thanos. Um, Y'all are tripping, bro. But, um, booty warrior for the bulldog. Oh, God. If you would have got wrecked or whatever, 
and you can't obviously when women get raped they can't do anything to defend themselves so yes. they, they're forced to anyways so Tread if it happened <laughs> no but I'm Jeez. saying if it happened and a dude like once your first thing to do would be call the cops so go there's there's so many if there's no emotional attachment like in this case she was just a trainer Mm-hmm. Right, <clears throat> not a family friend from a long time. Not not nothing like where they've been dealing with him for years. Like, his method. You you only know him through your profession. She's a trainer for a famous football guy. Or is it a team? Yeah, she's, yeah, like, yeah, she's a, a team. team. She's a team trainer, trainer or something. Like one of the certain trainers or whatever. But that's like, the other thing. She was. She did it multiple times. Oakland's trainer. Oh. But he just joined Oakland. Oh, I didn't even know that. One. I I get, she's saying it happened in 2017, 2018. I heard she's That's Oakland trainer. Huh? Yeah, he was in, when he was in Pittsburgh. Oh. She's, I'm hearing she's Oakland trainer. So that don't make sense already off the bat. Two, like you said, she didn't go to the cops. She went to a civil civil law, whatever. I don't know where she's she trying is. to sue him pretty much instead of actually yeah. getting arrested. Yo, if he did but it. This happened a while ago, like, like two years 20. ago. But like for me, there has to be a time, and I know I'm not. I'm not trying to tread. I don't think there's no. But there should be a limit in time. I think it should be investigated. Like when you say something, if he did it, he should go to jail. Like why didn't this come out in the off season? Why it come out now when everything's fucking? And he's a bitch. He's a fucking pussy. Don't get me wrong. Like the whole way he did this whole thing, Mm -hmm. little bitch. But like, is this very convenient to play devil's advocate? I can see the perspective of being afraid of not being believed, of being ridiculed, um, and yeah, and but, and nothing actually coming of it. But if you're mm-hmm. being real, like it shouldn't matter though. Like, but shouldn't, I don't know. shouldn't you go straight to you the cops? I mean? like, like, it, and if, it's, if she's being real, then I, there should I, be forced I, entry. Like, and it's fresh, so you should be able to trail all that shit with forensics. You know what I mean? Now you wait. Two years, you can't even tell. Like this is the whole Kobe thing all over again. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Kobe over here he's banging the chick. Yeah. It sucks though because the famous I, one I turns love, out eight I would other people to be it. on the same night. The female side, because I would like to see that shit one day. I know I never will come to a complete stop, or at least people would yeah. second think it before yeah. doing something so fucking stupid. I don't even know how so you something can so get it wrong. Off. Yeah, I don't know how you can get yeah, it. Like, how can you keep your shit up while she's just, crying, and screaming? And saying, oh my god, just stop. About you know that. what I mean? Like, like, I don't get that shit. And I hope if anything ever happens to, God forbid, my family members, they go straight to the cops and Facts, report right? it ASAP. And I do get it. Maybe it's hard. It's embarrassing. Nah, it's, yeah, yeah. But I'm not, it's hard for me to believe it. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. it's because like if they had like a childhood past, yeah, and they grew up together, and it was like some kind of abusive thing. Like that, that seems more like a normal mm. case as far as abuse. You know, people with abusive backgrounds and how things. But like the, I don't know, man. Like. There's, I don't know, there's especially two when there's money involved yeah, and that's somebody that's, famous yeah. and then at the same time I can see famous people thinking they could do whatever they want but yeah I mean fucking Terry Crews yeah. Terry Crews got assaulted at a party yeah, yeah, yeah by yeah. a dude somebody smacked his ass someone grabbed his dick oh I thought he smacked his ass yeah, yeah that's dude a if Terry Crews can be sexually assaulted it can happen to anyone yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, looking at that fucking guy. What I think, like every, even Terry Crews, I don't give a fuck who you are. You gotta go to the cops. Like yeah, this gotta. We gotta create a new standard or something. Like yo, if you get sexually assaulted, even if you, even if you just felt fucking uncomfortable, tell somebody, tell the police. Just go to the police. I just don't know how you go. So at least, head. so at least, even if he, quote unquote, didn't get um. Didn't get found guilty. Didn't do it. Maybe you just were unco- uncomfortable. Maybe he'll think twice, or she'll think twice before she does some shit like yeah, that again. Not, not to go back to it, and not to undermine what you guys are saying, because mm-hmm. someone who does experience that absolutely should immediately tell some kind of authorities. Yeah. But I can also understand being afraid of what could happen to herself. If she goes against someone famous like that, you know, being afraid for her own safety, mm-hmm. I don't know. 
in this specific instance, I don't know enough for yeah, yeah, for yeah. me to feel comfortable in giving an, an actual opinion on it. Because there's there's so many factors that go into. This oh yeah, kind of definitely. Thing. It's definitely case by case. Like sometimes, like like in, in terms of like R. Kelly, like he fucking did that shit. Boy. Yeah, he's, he's he should be in jail. Yeah, he's <laughs> that shit. He should be in jail. Like he should have been know. in jail. Like, when things like this pop up, I don't really care. Like not to sound insensitive mm-hmm. to the people affected by it's it. It's just yeah. hard to. Like, but like, I don't care to go on the link and see what happened in detail. I, I yeah. don't know what happened. Your energy. I still don't know what happened. Truthfully. Mm-hmm. I just like watching football. Not to, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I you like, said, not to sound insensitive, but with something like this, my energy is better spent elsewhere. Yeah, yeah I don't want to I just like, all that dark I just feel like, go to yeah. the cops, investigate, yeah. whatever he get. Hopefully, if he did it, he gets what he deserves. But at the same time, if you're lying about it, that's even two more years about that. later. You're a grown ass adult too. Like, I get, I understand, like what you're saying. The whole, I think you're right. Being perceived, uh, you know, viewed by other people and the reaction, humiliation. Like, I totally understand that. But, but we're like, also kind of in a period where, like, we're they canceling and getting rid of people for less. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you for saying fucking. I can't. I'm not Dave Spell. I'm not that brave. <laughs> Maggot or with an F. Like people are getting canceled for stuff yeah. like that, and like that's one of my favorite words. I'm just <laughs> back, in back in the day, that yeah, was one of my go tos, man. That yeah, that's, for me, it was different. It, yeah, like, it wasn't like I never even said it like it, that. But oh, like man. when I heard it, like I just thought it was somebody stupid. Anytime we'd be with the yeah. boys and play around and somebody be doing some gay shit, you know. Like, I like, like, I've never, like, it's like, it's like synonymous with jackass. Yeah. yeah. Ass. For yeah. me, it was more yeah. like a jackass. Like, he said it. <laughs> I just say it. <laughs> you braver than can, me, boy. Can, can we get a center? Dave Chappelle did it. We can do it, too. We grow. Hey, don't do that long beep like last time. Do like, yeah, this di- was do like yeah, it was loud. Dude, like Spongebob's beat. The, <laughs> the dolphin? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Dude. That's fun. But, um... We need, a pro- we need props. Yeah, we, we props. do. That, that, that'll come. That'll come. Yeah, come. I need an editor. So yeah, we need a DJ production. And we know DJ program on this side. So when we talk about shit... <laughs> yeah. I want that so bad. So I want the keyboard and the like to effect. effect. That'd be so lit, you know? <laughs> Oh, that'd be so lit. Ten years, not that hard. We one can do it. I gotta I figure it out. It. I haven't looked into it. I gotta look it up. <laughs> um, so what? What was the next one? Uh, on to that Borderlands three. Who's Borderlands, buying? Borderlands. Uh, I'm on the fence still. I'm not I don't know. I, I kind of, truthfully, I haven't seen any gameplay yet. That's I love Borderlands. the Borderlands series. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that is awesome. Um, it excited me. Yeah, absolutely. It. And like, like, it kind of came oh, out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in my I agree. opinion. I agree. Like, for fans of the series, they've been waiting forever. No, no, but yeah, for yeah. me, it was like, oh, shit, Borderlands 3? Damn, I, I just now started playing Borderlands 2 again. It's no, fucking no, no. It's awesome. Yeah, I love um, it. I it, am legit not buying it because I do not like the developer. <laughs> you don't like Gearbox? I don't like the, not him, or Gearbox itself, but the guy Randy. I don't even Fucking remember. Randy. <laughs> Fuck you, Randy. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't even remember his last name. And I don't even I just don't like him, bro. Like, I watched the announcement for the game. And he was an asshole Was he, like, stage. arrogant or something? He's just an asshole. He told people... What did he say? He said some shit that rubbed me the wrong way. I think he was, like, just shut up about the game. Or he was calling people stupid. Because I guess it's only on PC. It's only on the Epic Store. And I didn't even know if that was a big deal or not. Oh, I, I don't. Dude, people are fired up about the Epic yeah, Store. Yeah, people are tripping What's up. What's the Epic Store? It's like another version of Steam. Do you know what Steam is? So Steam is literally like the... I mean, I could show you, actually. Steam is like the gaming... It's like the primary PC yeah. gaming so store. So you literally buy oh, okay. all your games off of Steam. Okay. Digital games, Steam. Um, you can even, like... So say you didn't get off of Steam, you could put it through the Steam system so you can use whatever I don't know so even if you pirate games explain it. you can put them into Steam yeah. and use the Steam launcher it's like you can put all of your games basically in one format yeah hmm. Epic. and it has like a friends list all your games are in this library so say I 
you want to get rid of one of my games, I just uninstall it from here. If I want to download it back up, I just install it back up. I actually have Borderlands. Damn, you have a Most of these, I either my friends bought them, or you can gift shit too. So, like, most of my, my friends probably bought me most of these games. Bro, and, I need to get a PC, bro. What yeah. The fuck? I'm slacking. So, my boy be like, yo, you want this game? They got like 18 Star Wars. Bro, there was a pack. That's the other thing. Steam. I got that for five dollars. Yo, legit. I probably got all those Star Wars games for five, three dollars. Uh, I think it was three or something. The sales. Yeah, yeah they you, have these crazy like fucking sales. Ninety percent off on shit. And I'm like, yo, all the Star Wars games for like this money. So I got Unleashed, Jedi oh, Knight damn. Academy, Outcast. All this shit I got for like five. That Jedi dollars. Knight Academy is supposed to be like one of the best fucking games. That game is lit. Came out on the Xbox, right? The yeah, I bought it on Xbox. Xbox too. That's like yeah. it has like the best like um, lightsaber combat. I don't, I don't know. know about all that, but you can jump off walls and shit, and then show people and throw yeah. shit at them. But it's just lit. But wasn't that an RPG game? Nah. No. You thinking of um? Night Republic or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. think I had that too, but I'm not a fan of that game. Yeah, I didn't like that shit. This one, like you, no, you can just. You oh, go, like super Force speed, Unleashed. jump off walls and shit, and swing your shit. I've and he use guns. The Force Unleashed, you talking about? No, I'm talking about the oh, Jedi the other Academy yeah, yeah, yeah. shit okay, okay. and Jedi Outcast. They're pretty much the same game. I don't know what this one is, but I literally got it for those two games. But it was like 3 or $5. I'm okay. kind of stuck on Borderlands. I don't know if I want to get it. Like, I, my first initial start when it came out, I was like, oh shit, that's what's up. I'm not going to get it. Yeah. And that, then, that's um, kind of mean. I'm going to wait till it goes on sale. That's me now, dude. And then, um... That, like, yeah, not not only that, it's like, not that many people I know is getting it. But see, like, I have, like, three or four people that are going to get it on the box, so I was like... Mm-hmm. Like, I got, like, a couple friends getting it, but I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't like what that guy... I don't want to support that guy. Oh, like, man. I just don't want to... I respect that. If I they fired him, I'd probably like. That's how I feel about those two dickheads that fucked up Game of Thrones that last season. Yeah, like I yeah, just don't want to support them, bro. Like, Star Wars movie? Count me the fuck <laughs> out. They were already bad to start with. I don't remember what he said. He called people dumb or some shit, bro. But I didn't respect that shit. He, he basically, he, he berated the fan base. Was that like, about another movie or another show that he did? No, I'm talking about the fucking... He's talking about Randy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know, I know. Randy, bitch ass. <laughs> I hope our GM is not listening. Yo, yeah, you gotta think it's not you. You gotta think it's him? Not, not you, bro. The, the other one. The other bitch ass, Randy. You are right sometimes. Yeah. <gasps> and by sometimes, he means all the time. <gasps> but then there was another reason why I was boycotting that shit, too. But um, I'll maybe get it one day. I'll get it used, though. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess they don't get profits on this. What's your higher prob- probabilities of getting, as far as game goes, Call of Duty or Borderlands? Borderlands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you, you think you'd get Borderlands over I'm Call of Duty? I'm probably not getting either, bro. Because <laughs> I, I, I could play Borderlands. I, I get Call of Duty over Borderlands. Call of Duty. Yeah. I gotta say, I feel like a hypocrite now, too. I'm probably Call of Duty. Because I've been bitching about this Borderlands shit for a while. bro. Just fucking let it in. Hmm? Pause. Just let it in. What? The Call of Duty Call shit? Call of Duty. Uh, not to get in that shit. Um, it's cross platform. I'm over it. It's for any of the three. That, yo, I almost want to buy it, it just to support it that. Really? That's dope. No like, lie, I almost want to buy it just to support and, that. And Xbox and PC? And PC. And if you play Xbox or the PS4 with a keyboard and mouse, it automatically puts you with PC players. Good. Yeah, Good. so it's That's not, how it's it should not be. Yeah. yeah. With the people who are using controllers. Yeah. They did it, like, for, it sounds. Like they did a really fucking good job with this game, but we'll I'm see. tempering my expectations. I've been burned by fucking Facts. Call of Duty long, for far too many times. Yeah, so we'll see. Definitely, though. it's rare that I feel a game is worthy of buying at launch. Mm-hmm. Um, the only game that I'm really there's two games that I'm seriously looking forward to. Cyberpunk, we talked about that before. That game looks fucking it's gonna be amazing. fucking awesome. Um, that shit got me hyped. The last little reveal shit there. Yeah, I, I just saw that, that shit got me hyped. The deep dive yeah. video or whatever. Yeah, that I wasn't really was... hyped for it. And then I watched that shit. I'm like, now I'm kind of hyped. Yeah. For it, bro. Um, <laughs> and um, Outer Worlds. Have y'all heard of Outer Worlds? I have yeah, heard of it, but I don't know what it is. It's like um, like goblins. Or it's one of those. I think so. They do have monsters and stuff, and I haven't. I. Oh. Um, 
I haven't seen movies. too much of it because they, they haven't really put out much on it but it's by the developers of Fallout New Vegas and mm-hmm. Oblivion and it's basically um, it's an RPG in space you're like a bounty hunter or something in space and from I my think understanding I saw a trailer for it. you can yeah you can like you can like travel between planets and shit um, I don't know I'm a big RPG guy RPGs are my favorite yeah I like RPGs I, um, they look kind of cool I there's think so many different types of RPGs, RPGs too like yeah. So you got the MMO RPG. And that's co-op you got too. First per third person RPGs. Yeah. You can play with people, right? Or friends? On Outer World? Yeah. I think so. I'm not positive on that, don't quote me, but I think I think they are gonna have co-op. I have to check that shit out again. Because I think I saw a trailer and it looked interesting. Yeah. I I've just, been, you know what I've been looking into is that No Man's Sky game. It I looks kinda of cool. I don't understand. I've never really looked into it. Though. If you wanted to get into it, now is the time. From mm-hmm. what I've heard. Because mm-hmm. they've um, finished the game. Oh. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be this huge game where, like, you live, but supposed to be, like, just hop in your spaceship and just start flying in up in, like, random it's planets. It's interstellar or Minecraft. I don't care about Minecraft. It's basically so how I that, I got turned it. off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know, but, like, that's basically what it is. Because, mm-hmm. like, you... It's, like, boxy? I, no, no, it actually oh. does have dope oh, graphics. Okay. Yeah, it's like, in an Jesus art style. Christ. It's not really they're not they weren't really going for a realistic look. Mm-hmm. It is kind of like cartoony, yeah. but it works really well. Yeah. Most people do like Star Wars. Sometimes it's okay to do that shit. because it, it yeah. doesn't you don't feel like they've reached trying to Yeah. Get to a certain standard with the graphics that they never got to I don't ever I don't care about graphics like that to be real. Like, nah, truthfully. No, nah, I I do if, if if the game is supposed to be about graphics. You know, what I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, I would say Call of Duty is a game like that. Yeah, I'd agree. Because yeah, I mean, that's the yeah. color and contrast here and there, vibrant colors. I feel like more like a game like God of War. True. Yes. Or. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I could say Call of Us. Yeah, Last of Us. Last of Us, not even Last of Us graphics to me wasn't even that great. What? That shit blew my mind yeah, when I played on PS3. Back then, yeah. Yeah. Dude, on PS3? Maybe that's why. That I shit was, sounded oh. like my fucking. PlayStation I was thought, gonna take off, but oh, yeah, yeah. but it was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, jet engine, but dude, that was. Amazing. I thought the fucking gameplay was amazing. I didn't care about the graphics. The story was so great, though. That was it for me. Yeah, I don't care about graphics. That's just what it is. I, don't I care. care about graphics. Only time I right. if it turns me off, art styles will turn me off. Like Minecraft's art style, because people say the graphics are actually good. But the art style is what makes it QB or whatever. It's like a yeah. I, what's the difference That's, in that in that style, specific context? So art style, I guess, is more just like how it visually looks, so like your eyes, like what you can see. But graphics is more like the power, like the actual like design of it, like what you can actually do. So like, three like D. I don't even know how to explain it, bro, because I'm trash at explaining shit. So I'm like. Confused. And Minecraft might be a bad example because, well, like, graphics is like, like the resolution of things. We're trying to compare graphics and what? Graphics the and art, art style. style. Art style. Like graphics. Borderlands has the the. That's easy. Cell shading. The cell shaded art style. Yeah. But the graphics aren't really the. Their graphics are pretty good. The graphics are cartoon, like um, very like um, like art style comic, more comic book yeah. style. Like Fortnite is actually a great example because Fortnite is has good graphics, but the art style is very cartoony and yeah. they look very funny. Right, but right. the graphics are really good. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the graphics, graphics are really sharp. The yeah, and, very, and the, the effects are really very sharp. The effects are really good. The explosions, the lasers, and, stuff. and all that shit. Yeah. So I think Minecraft has good graphics in terms of like. Um, PUBG part wouldn't have. PUBG. It was better on PC. Bad, they have bad, <laughs> it was better on PC. I feel like they have bad both. Yeah. It, that was boring bad. art it style. It's not bad until you play it, though. It, and then when you play like it, it's not, it's not that bad. That shit don't matter. I never bro. played it. It's not bad. I don't it looked better on PC. I don't like that. I bet it does because it actually has a good amount of frame rates per second. Man. About console, that shit drops like crazy. That too, great. I think graphics has to do with frame rate and yeah. shit, too. Yeah. I think. Don't call me on that. I'm terrible. I'm terrible, especially on the podcast. If we're wrong, Instagram. put it down on the comments. Yeah, I'm sure, my, I'm sure my boys will call me out. Have I been doing in and out yeah. the camera this whole time? Yeah. I'm so trash. Anyways. And then, uh, 
So how how was the hurricane for you guys, man? Easy. Okay, we're horribly, horribly easy. <laughs> The build up to the hurricane was more stressful than the actual hurricane. Dude, I was like, yeah, I was yeah, actually worried. Yeah, it was more I was, stressful. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, was like, I was eh. concerned. Dude, looking at this fucking yeah. storm that's coming right at us, and they're like, Cat yeah, five. it's gonna turn. 185 mile per hour winds, 220 Everybody mile had per hour exact gusts. Exact same opposite, or the exact opposite way of what you're describing. All my yeah. family members and my wife and others. It's going to be so bad. And then I'm like, listen, just relax. Mm-hmm. It's only fucking Wednesday. It's not supposed <laughs> to get here till Sunday. Yeah. Or Monday. I'm like, let's wait till like Saturday, Sunday and see where it's at. And mm-hmm. then we'll make our judgment off that. Like, let's, you know, obviously still get prepared and get stuff. I'm going to tell you, but it's like, don't, I'm sure not to like it just. Dude, the, the one thing. But it could have been really bad. Yes. And it that's the thing really is like this, this hurricane has me really concerned for future hurricanes. Because people are going to come to rely on that turn, on on the hurricanes turning. I honestly think there's something there that's making it turn, like a gravitation. Dude, it's it's the Bermuda Triangle. It's NASA. It's NASA. It's NASA. I was like, hey. It's NASA or it's the... What are you talking about? As far as the hurricane, and making it because like that's not the only right. time where the hurricane has making like perfectly curved off yeah, of Florida. Yeah, it's necessary. And I'm not saying that it's not possible for it to go through us or even like I wouldn't be surprised if it went up the middle and then still curved, like still hit us, like we're still in the fucking center of it and then it still curves yeah, out. It's nasty. Most of the time, <laughs> y'all trying to hear, I don't know. Y'all trying to hear a serious conspiracy? I'm telling you, hit me with it. Um, so it's in the hard. '60s. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, the 60s, um, the U.S. government was experimenting with weaponized weather control mm-hmm. and used it in the Vietnam War, and they were actually able to seed clouds and actually make like changes in the weather. Mm-hmm. What Bahamas do to us? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Bahamas was the intent, but I think it was just avoid NASA. I don't know. I think man. it was to make a lot of money on generators and plywood. Yeah, hey. it could be. But or no, no, but hear me out. To lull hear people me out, in a sense hey. of security but and he, feel like, oh, it never happened. No, to I us. because like Dan bought a generator, eight hundred dollar generator, didn't even need to never use it. Eight hundred dollars. Hopefully, it doesn't just turn it. Um, <laughs> may as well keep it. But yeah, think well. about this though, okay? Last year, we had that hurricane that came through. Did the same thing. Was, Whatever it was, Maria? Was it Maria? I don't know. Man, Maria. Irma? Oh. Whoever it was. Irma? It was last year. One of them, bro. But anyways, <laughs> Category 4, supposed to destroy everything, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, Came, bro. That one was even closer because it got, it hit landfall. They actually had wind from that. Yeah. It hit landfall, and then this is us, Space Coast area. And then that bitch went out nine miles. Same. It literally did the same Out thing. nine miles. But then turn back in after it avoided yeah, everything. Yeah. And then now that shit just fucking straight up. Like It just went out. We didn't Is even get the there? worst part. Bro, did you guys even get that much fucking rain? It's no. yeah, Did dude. you guys get flooding? No. That's what dude, I'm saying. We and put- if you look at the radar, that bitch was right there. Like mm-hmm. I'm I was her. surprised on the, the amount of rain we did not have. Yo, yeah, it, it was the driest close. hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. The wind wasn't that crazy. No, yeah. it picked up a little time. Was, like, oh, it's coming. Yeah, I went and outside and I was stop. like, Damn, this is lovely. Away. I kept telling the wife, I was like, yo, when it starts raining, it's not going to stop. Boy, it was our wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it like started like five times. That was my plan. Apex. Yo, facts, man. I was just gaming, bro. I didn't lose power After I once. did everything. Me neither. Yeah. Nobody in my family lost power. Peace to the people in the Bahamas, though. Yeah, yeah man. man. It's Jesus so Christ. Christ. The worst part of Bar that shit is sat there on them for like a whole day. Like 36 so hours slow, or something. Dude. Yeah, cause there was a point Horrible. where it was only moving a mile per hour. I'm pretty sure it's way worse than Puerto Rico was last year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's way worse yeah. than that. Did you I saw, see some of those videos, man? Yeah, I was just going to say, I saw a video that someone took from the inside of their house and they're recording their house and there's waves lapping up against mm. their glass sliding door and then they pan over and you see their staircase and their yeah, whole first floor is, floor is yeah. flooded. Yeah, dude. And I saw videos of people in their attic, bro. 
and the water's just coming in yeah. and they're stuck in their it's fucking terrifying. attic. Crazy. Man. Mother Nature. Forced to be reckoned with. That's God I, bless. People still need yeah. to be safe, man. Like, keep your supplies. I'm keeping my, my shutters are still down. <laughs> God bless. I kept mine my up because um, I took a few down just to let some light in the house. Mm-hmm. But, like, I got we got two windows. more left or some shit. Like, we got two more. He <laughs> may as well. Tropical depression yeah, that yeah. might become. They're saying one so might hit us this week or come close. <laughs> really? Yeah. But it's. I don't think it's a hurricane yet. Oh, it's just tropical storm. I, I don't think it's a storm. I don't think it's that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just some kind of tropical depression. Yeah. Out there. But, I don't know. People need to stay safe, though. And Stop depressing this fucking weather. Yeah, seriously. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they gotta stop hyping it up. Like, yo, be prepared. That was a joke, but, you know, because tropical depression. You're it's trash. Depressing. It was a trash joke. <laughs> we were trying to let it slide. We were trying to let it slide. <laughs> yeah, we were letting you have that one. Uh, <laughs> edit that out with a dolphin. Uh, <laughs> But yo, people need to stay safe. If someone's controlling the weather, <laughs> fuck you. We all know what the fuck they're gonna fuck do with that shit. Weather master. That shit might end up in the wrong druids. hands one day. It already is in the wrong hands. That's what's going <laughs> on. Look at the Bahamas. Keep your fucking shutters up and yeah. have a fucking plan. You're not stupid for preparing. I bought preparing. a bottle. I was safe. ready for this storm, dude, and the power didn't go out. And I was grateful because I didn't want the power to go out. But at the same time, it was a little, like, 1% disappointing. Because it didn't really, like... There I was, was kind of mad. But I was more happy than anything. Yeah. I was looking forward Isn't to having... Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? It's like... It's terrible. It's like, you, of course you don't want it to happen. Yeah. But then, like, Cause nothing all the happened. Hype. It was like, there's almost this, like, like slight really? feeling That's of it? disappointment. They were yeah. in Europe, bitch. <laughs> like, it was like that. Like, yeah. You know what I mean, like... I was but more I mad I had to go to I'll work say, Thank you, Dorian. <laughs> Appreciate yes. it, bro. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't have to go to work Wednesday, bro. Probably because it was already in my mind. And they, they had already given what? us a day off. That was a shit. Yeah, they was like, yo, yeah, you're off Wednesday. I was like, like word. I evacuated. Bruh. Out of town. Where you at? And I would have lost Out of my mind. Out of my mind. See, I got lucky. I I haven't used any of my vacation time this year. Mm-hmm. And we, we weren't supposed to get paid for it, but I was like, put my vacation time on those days. Smart. Yeah, so. If I would have had something to spare, I would have, but I'm going to Illinois in October, and that's going to be most of my days. Illinois. Deep dish pizza? Illinois. Hey, I'm going to try again, because I went last time, and I wasn't crazy about it, so I'm, I'm going to try somebody else. Uh, what you do is you go on Google right now, you go on YouTube, and show you the best deep dishes down there uh, in Chicago. Because I went to some that's chain restaurant, and I was mad, because I was like, we got that shit in Florida. Man, I, I, I was trying to go Domino's, what? Yeah. <laughs> I've tasted better from pizza, yeah. I want some fucking pop. I don't, pop. Yeah, mom and pop shop with a motherfucking Uncle Tony in the motherfucking yeah, kitchen. I want him to call me a motherfucker like six yeah, times. Dog. If there's not a balding guy fucking throwing dough, Mother, I'm I out of there. If I see any of them fishing nets on their hair, I don't want it. I don't want it, bro. I don't even want him having <laughs> gloves on, bro. I don't even want him wearing gloves, bro. Nice. Yeah. I want the him. secret sauce is the best part. I, I want, want the sauce around the rim to look like it's been sitting there I want for like to see 10 spit days. flying into the sauce. <laughs> All dried up and shit. <laughs> I want to see spit flying into the sauce because he's talking so much, bro. I want that kind of pizza, bro. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> White. Yeah. I'm going to be a loogie in my motherfucking sauce. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? Oh, it's this, 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 this. It's good. It oh, is a special cheese. It's good stuff. Oh, it's an oyster. All right, I'm done. I'm the prima sanyangai. No. Yo, I got a question for you guys, man, because I just found this out. Like, So I hear Disney Plus <laughs> is not going to do what Netflix does and just drop the whole season. They're actually going to do... like Episode by episode. Episode, episode by episode. Episode a week. I'm all right. Uh-huh. And I also heard Netflix might start doing that, too. I did do that with certain shows already. I know Hulu does that as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, do y'all I'm, prefer the binge watch or do you like what well, waiting? I, I do end up binge watching. Waiting. <laughs> hey. 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 waiting. But I think it like, would be good because it makes that gap of waiting to the next season a lot shorter than like you know you've been that's true. You binge it in three days. I guess the whole that's season, true. I can wait eight whereas months for if the you season. wait like nine or let's say it's ten episodes, my like 10 my only thing really about that point. is I. I kind of hate daily or weekly because yeah, if that shit is trash, yeah, and I feel like I yeah, waited for yeah. this, 
yeah. like, Game of Thrones. Like I think you're right. <laughs> I think that you're absolutely right. I think that like um was Danny Rand. Iron Fist, Iron Fist. I, if Iron Fist would have been a weekly thing I would have yeah. gave up on that shit probably Facts. Yeah. because it was so slow but slow because down. I could bang it out all at once yes you know what I definitely. mean definitely I would not easy. even watch yeah. Jessica Jones but not like Punisher I swear I, I would have watched I, I probably would have watched, watched the first season but I definitely would have watched the second but like Punisher I would have been there every week for that because yeah. that, was, that was good for Daredevil nah, Daredevil was good yeah, yeah, I prefer, was good. yeah I prefer the binge yeah I made up my mind why not? I didn't know. Why not a middle path? Hell you know? no. They could they could put out like two or three episodes. That'd be fine too. A week or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know. I, that would be yeah. fine. Two or three episodes I could deal with. But I nah. They should. They would. Have I'm kind of mad they out. said that. I'm probably gonna wait for all most of these shows. Nah, Especially with Spider Man be being spoiled. in the air. With I don't want to be. That's true. I don't want to be that guy who has to watch Spider Man. And then but then that is, that didn't ruin Game of Thrones <laughs> for me though, man. <laughs> was that in last episode? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> that that didn't spoilers did not ruin Game of Thrones for me because I didn't know you didn't know anybody though. Yeah, but still, like it didn't ruin it for me. But it wasn't the end yet. though. The ending ruined it for me, and I didn't and know yeah, what was going to happen. Fucking ruined it for me. <laughs> I, I think that's worse. Than, a bad ending is worse than a fucking spoiler for me. Yeah, facts. That shit was horrible. <laughs> yeah. So that shit was horrible. Those writers, horrible. Mm-hmm. Abomination. So all rushed. writers. Because I, I, I'm still, I'm still just <laughs> reeling in disappointment. Uh, like, I don't know. Like why you did really the fucking. Milk, how, dude. Why did he melt the fucking chair? What was the whole point of that shit? Yeah. Like he well, knew. Literally the entire series is building up to this epic fight that finishes in one episode. The it's Night King, yeah. the fucking un- the undead battle. That was the worst. Like, bro, dude, wasn't I've that been bitch like about that shit the this. most? Bro, oh my god. And then it was Arya. I felt worse for all... Dude, I felt worse Arya. for you loyal fans who were watching that shit. Then it wasn't even John motherfucking Snow. Waiting weekly. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't even John fucking Snow. I felt bad for you guys more than me. This bitch jumped from like because I literally just got into the series and was just like ah. <laughs> yeah, and then the oh, other generals man. like didn't even fucking do anything. Poor they were trash. They had this whole elite army with them who didn't even fight. But like the whole thing is like, why did he even go there? <sighs> the Night King. Why did he risk his life to kill Bran? You got That's a good question too. He has a dragon. You. you got a dragon. You got why wouldn't you the whole dra- the dragon. army of the dead that clearly were overrunning them? I think the thing with that he stopped and posted up is like I don't know. Don't try to explain it. I, you can't like, explain I'm trying to think. There's man. there's supposed to be some kind of lore. There has to be, right? There probably was at one point in time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The Game Bowl was all right, but it it really wasn't like what I wanted out of it. I wanted like I wanted ball. Ball. Yeah. yeah I wanted both of them to die, but it was like like because I liked um I liked uh, uh wow. the Hound, but it was yeah. clear that he was gonna die. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I was like thinking, but hey, I was thinking like Arya was gonna come through and say, and I'm like Arya just fucking saved townspeople. Jumped on this magical fucking white horse. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That it was so bad. Came and gone. So bad. Who? Came, the horse. Oh. Yeah. They made a big deal about this horse. It felt like it was all light. Yeah. Light was going yeah. on it. Some it came. She rode horse. on it. You never saw that fucking horse again. And then this yeah, bitch went She mad. rode off into a sunset. It was a new beginning for her. Jon Snow or wouldn't something. lay the No, her down. new beginnings when she went on that boat. Oh, that's that's right. was trash, bro. She, she took the horse to the boat. You know, I just no, she did. I was a year later. How long was she in jail? Know. I don't know, she man. She was jail. riding a long time. <laughs> it was a long ride that long, I guess. <laughs> Who we talking about? Fucking Arya. Arya. Oh, well. That show was trash. Arya is one of my favorite characters <laughs> too. That's the thing. Like, but I didn't like the way like they did. Like, so come on. So here, here's another point. I, I hate to fucking start. I can't believe we're going again with them. I know. <laughs> but, but, like, what <laughs> was the ago. whole purpose of her learning how to fucking change faces, bro? That shit had nothing you to know do with the fucking show. At the very end, it would have been if she would have fucking. Did I was that thinking shit. she's gonna kill Cersei, get in there, co-op, bro, like black ops sort of, shit, covert, yeah. like. Uh, yeah, she was so gangster. To be real, like there was with that, it's like she she learned all that. She did all that training so that she could go down this path of vengeance. Yeah. And then I think that once she like 
Cascade what the hound listen. said yeah what the hound said about like her being on this path of vengeance it yeah. only leads to one fucking yeah, ending indeed, she exactly. kind of yeah. realized that and was like you know what I'm gonna jump on this fucking magic horse and but see I, I thought off. she I thought I was thinking like she would have done some shit before anything like that happened like she was anything like <laughs> like as far as the, everything burning down like I thought it would have been like she would have like Cersei would have went to her chambers or some shit and then like this bitch would have been in there looking like um her brother yeah you know what i'm saying like well he'd have to be dead lit, but you know what i'm bro. saying like and then and then that even kind of fulfills the prophecy because both ways because hey, you know she's supposed the, to die by her brother i'm you know, sure bran should have warged into that damn dragon bro fuck bran fucking he should have warged into the motherfucking my theory, dragon bran is evil That's, what it, he Bran is evil. Shit. That's wrong. He, he knew. He knew like he knew the everything. The whole time, yeah, right? he knew everything. Like he, he basically like. I don't wish to be the Lord of Winterfell. <laughs> Just kidding. Was the Lord go, of everything. Two, two episodes <laughs> later, who's gonna be me? What Are you gonna? You sure you want to? What do you think I came all the way down here for? It's like you cheeky bitch. little shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pull you out of that fucking wheelchair. <laughs> and then nobody, nobody up there, no, and there was like five or six people that knew. What's his name's lineage? Um, Jon Snow. Yo, oh, was it yeah. awesome? He, he was, nobody fucking said shit. Nobody. Did. Nobody fucking said shit. Then, then, this bit, they named the king. They named the king, right? But listen now, they named the king, right? And then this, this bitch, uh, what's this hot chick? She's fucking sexy, the red hair. Sansa. Sansa's Sansa, yeah. like, we will be independent. We won't be, we'll be our own country. We'll be the north. And then everybody's like, all right, cool, yeah. Sure, so what's I'm like, the, what's, all, what's the, the, all the eight fucking countries don't want to be independent. Don't want to have yeah. their own too. My thing, too, is like, isn't fuck? that why we're here in the first what place? Because like, y'all niggas rebel? Yeah. Like, isn't that the so reason why we're bad. here in the first it place? It was so bad. It was so bad. I was just like, Unfortunate. Damn. But I'm done. I think that's, that's what they I could. They should have <laughs> just had another season. No. They could have had, like, three more seasons. They, yeah, yeah, They yeah, should yeah. have to flush no, because, things out. Yeah, because they could have extended. Like, that whole first episode mm-hmm. of the first season could have been, like, three episodes with a lot of action in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm that, saying? Like, yeah. like the killing no, the, no, umber, right. the Umber kid. That all that, They could have stretched time. That's like, the, him going all the way over there. That was, and I, know, I noticed King. this in the, what, seventh season? Yeah. Seventh season? Yeah, seventh yeah, season. yeah. They started rushing it. Yeah, you yeah, could tell. Yeah, because, yeah. like... Everything happened. It took so long for something to happen. It took so long yeah. for someone to finally catch up to somebody. Yeah, and, and two episodes, Snow's yeah. already meeting. What's this, her name? Um, this nigga, what's his name? The bald head dude. That dude was starting Varys? to teleport. Varys was teleporting in season yeah. seven, bro. Yeah, he really was. <laughs> he's just like just walking around. I'm here now. One moment he's <laughs> on the other continent, and the next he's back with fucking Danny. I'm like, bro, this nigga, what? Yeah. What kind of magic it was is the that? Downfall. It wasn't a bad season, but it was definitely the worst one out of all of them. But we thought with the last one coming out, we expected like better, but didn't get it. So Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, I feel again. I feel. I feel bad for you fans because I was. Dude. I was just kind of along with the ride, and I was like, "This is not a bad show." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I started going, started going downhill, and I'm like. I was asking with my wife every Sunday, like, I feel this bad is for you guys. This, like, this is what's gonna happen. And it was then, like, like a family tradition it for yeah. like a couple years. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I Everybody was it. telling me to get on it, and I'm just like, eh, shit's gonna be trash. Look, did y'all know? I was right. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, that shit was phenomenal. <laughs> the last two seasons. It was a good show. Yeah. It was a good show. But again, that's what I'm saying. Like, I rather binge. I rather fucking binge. Yeah, you're right because like watching Game of Thrones for so many years, and it's why I don't watch a lot of shows now. Is because that happened to me so much. I'm like, this is dope, and then you forget what happened in between. So you gotta like go back and check it out again. Yeah, too much. Game of Thrones did a decent job of doing like recaps and shit sometimes, but still, this show is trash. You guys watch um, uh, what's that? Sex robots and. Yeah, I watched oh, that. I, said, yeah, I think. Uh, did you put me on? I put robots. you on. I think. 
Love, Death, and Robots? I think yeah. Dan put me on, but then Somebody I talked to you about it, and then you told me about it. Too. Yeah, Love, Death, and Robots. That, that was a badass. That shit was they dope. got picked up for a second. Did they? Season. Let's go! Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's going to be awesome. That, that shit was good. dope. Because I, I love short stories and stuff like that. And, and I loved how, like, mm. each the episode... Yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. episode... The was best one, though. Some of those cinematics and shit were was fucking that last amazing. One? Like, yeah, I want yeah. games out of some dude, of that shit. Like the one where the fucking dude drift off in space yeah. for so long, and it was like, and he kept drinking. Like, he didn't know. He thought he was living, but it was he was dreaming. Yeah, yeah. The one with the girl from Orange is the New Black, bro. That was, was good. literally That shit was good. Her. That reminded me of Bangalore. Yo. Which one? Uh, <laughs> if they ever did, like, a movie. He was a space <laughs> pilot. She had... Or aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, 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 black the, the black girl. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, from the, Orange yeah, the New the Black, time, and yeah. she looks ju- yo picture perfect. Yeah, you yeah. showed that to me. That, that was, was awesome. It looks yo. It and the looked last like really episode, straight. the last yeah. episode was lit too with the um was that the, the Russians. Russians? Yeah. yeah, yeah, with like yeah, the fucking, the that like creatures from hell. Or but something? those creatures, I think, were from the same episode with the farmers, where the where the animation was really fucking cartoony, and it had the mechs. Yeah, and shooting it from the thing, from the portal, or whatever. You're probably right. It looked like the same kind, but like different, um, like a variation animations. Of yeah, of them, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Are uh, y'all ever watched Black Mirror? It was kind of the same thing. Black Mirror. You know, my. Oh, uh, you're so lame, <laughs> bro. What? I had too many other things. You saw one the episode. episode. Did you uh, watch the first episode? Of that, that one the season. The first season? I watched the, the one with the... the pig? Mm, whoa, that sounds... I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't watch it in order. I watch like, was, whatever sounds interesting okay, to me. good. Because so, literally the first episode of the first <laughs> fucking season... That would have turned me off too. I don't, yeah. know, I don't, like, like, I don't know why they chose to start star. the series that way. <laughs> but literally, he that's... saw other shit with um, Anthony Mackie, the, the video game shit. Who's that? The Falcon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The VR one? The yeah. The reality? Where he, he, like, his his consciousness was, like, in the game. Yeah. And, and then he, it yeah. turns out he actually died in, like, point oh oh three seconds or something. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. I know. They, they, did a, right? they did a few what video game ones. What is that one? Yeah. Well, dude, I just spent the whole fucking episode. I gotta take that one out. That one sounds crazy. Me, no that, one's, that one's really good. <laughs> that one's really good. That yeah, one is that was the like one where you three. you selected like what he did oh, next. Right, what I thought was really dope, oh. like he chose what he did next. Like it, it was different. Like okay, like something will happen. Like it'll ask you like, do you want to do this or this? And then, oh yeah, you, the the um Bandersnatch. Was the, that it? The, so, like the choose your own adventure. Yeah, that movie? was movie. Yeah, that yeah. was yeah, because that was a movie. Yeah, but that's that was, that, was cool. ba- that was badass. Yeah. That kind of. Like interactive storytelling, I think has a lot of potential. I'm surprised they don't do it more, especially with how it's a huge thing in these the the, the new video games they do and all like Heavy Rain, yeah, yeah Detroit, Detroit. Even, even some of the Netflix shows are doing that shit. Too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Interactive. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, um, Black Mirror did a movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. that 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 Cal Cal Gill or wait, he works with us. Um, <laughs> What's that? What? what? Uh, that that dude who lives outdoors and he survives and shit. Something. Oh, good. I heard of that. Some I've never Bear watched. Grylls? Bear Grylls. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, he has a show on there where he does some adventure shit and then, like you could choose. Oh, what yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Black Mirror did a very similar thing. Mm. That was that was a trippy ass movie though. That shit was weird. I gotta, Cause you ever knew- watch them again and do it the other way. Just nah, I haven't heard I really it yet. want to. I got a <laughs> shitty ending. I did I got too. A shitty ending. Someone. It kept looping. Yeah. Did you did you get the ending where like he's on a movie set? No. Okay. Spoilers. I got an ending <laughs> where he died. He killed himself. Oh really? I think so. That's depressing. Yo, somebody in the crib. This ending where he lives. I didn't know about the movie set one. There's a crazy. shitload of endings. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of endings. Right. Like I saw, I saw an image of like the tree of like selections. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of different branches. That's like wild. a lot of different ways the story can go. That's dope, though. <laughs> that is kind of cool. That's sick, though. But yeah, speaking of that, I like, I like the, I like new ways of how media. I like how people are starting to get creative with like throwing media at you, like in terms of like CD, music, movies, and all that shit. Like that tool shit you were telling me about, yes. where they they gave you that fucking yes. 
that beast. I did not know. I've been looking at this yeah. shit all day. Yeah, like, what is that? Yeah, a concert shirt, actually. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. Um, two of them, yeah. So a bunch of old yes. guys playing metal beat Taylor Swift on the Billboard Top 200. That's wild. Impressive. Um, 13 year wait but yeah I mean it's amazing to me that they were able to beat her considering the only physical release mm-hmm. was it was $45 you know it sound, it's which wild. sounds like a lot you know but considering it comes with like a screen and a speaker built into the actual like case and yeah, you can recharge it and like there's a book that has all the fucking lyrics and a bunch of art in it Mm-hmm. It's awesome. I mean, hopefully that really inspires other artists to do a similar thing. Yeah, yeah. I, there was another thing that uh, happened recently was um, Vince Staples. He was talking about a show. He's like, yo, I got a show coming out, blah, 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 Vince Staples show, right? So throwing up on his YouTube, you watch it, and it's just a stupid little like skit, maybe like 15-minute skit, and it literally was just like a little sh- Get to announce his new single and it was it was pretty dope <laughs> like it was a cool way to announce music like yeah, here's yeah. a cool little skit fun skit it played a song during the skit and then you go alright now you can go listen to the song it was pretty dope that's cool. yeah, yeah, I thought it was a cool, cool way to do yeah, that's cool yeah, that's cause I've never heard of that something like that that's yeah. creative you mm-hmm. know as opposed to I mean he could have just posted on fucking Instagram like, yeah hey, but here's I de- my shit mm-hmm. but I definitely would have at least took my time to watch it cause I was like this guy's not an actor or whatever I am wondering what he's gonna do so I was interested and watched it you know like damn now I wanna go listen to the song <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool that's what I like about Logic too is like his interludes like his mm-hmm. kind of like creative he is like I don't know if you remember the um like two albums ago, yeah, one where he was like I forgot what song it was, but he's talking to a space to him him Bobby yeah, yeah. And somebody else I was space. just listening to the yeah, album like, yeah, it was a like yo days. you can talk to anybody you wanna to talk to, who you wanna to talk to? He's like Big Sean <laughs> like, You can speak to anybody you want to He was like Big Sean is like what up bitch? The best thing about those skits was he had that dude who voiced that dude on Tanami? The fucking Tom. Oh, that's shit. who voiced him. That, no shit. Because he, he always make a reference to the anime and shit he used to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had that. What's the name? I don't. I don't. His I, name I, is. Not I know the squid, it's right? Is it the squid? No, that's no, not the squid. Steven Blum is his real. Oh, name. I don't know. He voices right. fucking everybody. Yeah, yeah. He voices the guy from Cowboy Bebop, that anime. He voices Wolverine and damn near everything. Hmm. I don't know that. Damn near everything. If you heard Wolverine's voice, this nigga voiced him. Mm-hmm. So that guy was talking throughout both his uh, albums. He was ta- that was his voice oh, shit. in That's the album. Funny, yeah, man. those those skits are funny as fuck. They are funny because they got the black. He's talking to that black dude or whatever. Uh, that was making weird or even in, in his new song with Eminem. Yeah, that's just cool. Name this man and his man and his man and I was like, I didn't even know until you told me. I was like, what? Yeah, you this me is the video? old, but it's funny And then, like, world. two days later, after he showed me the video of the guy who was doing an imitation of Eminem, mm-hmm. I go to Publix to go pick something up. And I go on YouTube, and the video for the song came up. So I started playing, and I, I was listening to it, watching the video. And at the very end, when it was doing that part, slam with the pen. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I didn't know that was... Yo, the so they switched it. So they had... They <laughs> had Eminem doing that shit. Yeah, they had Eminem doing the guy making fun of him. Yeah. And what? the guy who making fun of him did Eminem's yeah, voice in over in the song. Yeah, what the fuck? Yo, that's a dope video, bro. It was bro. cool, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, you gotta make shit fun, panicking, man. Panicking, I'm so glad. Panicking when you panicking, scrambling with the <laughs> Yo, every time I hear that shit, I just think about you using way too many napkins. And I don't know. <laughs> but that's so funny. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm, like, I'm gonna start saying that shit randomly. <laughs> you using way too many napkins. <laughs> man, <laughs> yo, that shit was so funny. And it was just funny that he, he had just told me about it like a day or two ago, and I'm like, yo, they used the guy. Yo, <laughs> it was this crazy. shit was hilarious, bro. Awesome. I like the creativeness, man. It, it freaking, not only does it, it's fun to watch, but it inspires me, man. I'm like, I hope I can get my mindset to that one day, bro. We can I feel like that's where here. logic is very underrated in today's oh, music yes, industry. Oh, like, yes, he, he, Everything he drops is not only really good, but it's like so well put out. The like, best thing about him, too, is that he, like, He's always him, like, yeah, yeah, even yeah. if you don't agree with what he's saying, like, 
he believes it and he's gonna say what he believes. Yeah. Like he's literally been rapping the same way. He even says in, in that song, like I've been rapping the same way. I've been saying the same shit. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna say it again, yeah. but he does it, bro. And then what he fucking what inspires him, what he he loves, he he throw, He's not afraid to shout it out, throw it in his music, or even do features with him. Like yeah. you know, I say, love Big Sean. That nigga's been in like every one of his albums. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty cool though. Mm-hmm. One more thing before we get done, because I've been wanting to... I don't have a question for you. I, I always have questions for you, but I always forget to ask them. But your meditation, bro. Yeah. Talk to me about some meditation, bro. Talk uh, to... Yo, actually, I do have a question. Like, did, Yes. So did that help you with, like, this whole hurricane bullshit? Did you, like, sit and meditate over it and think about it? Oh, yeah. Because that I shit mean, was stressing me out. Definitely. Before it hit us. <laughs> yeah. um, hmm? oh. For sure. I mean, that's the thing is like, there's all kinds of meditations. Um, the, I think the, the primary meditation that I have been doing lately is um, on love and compassion. Mm-hmm. Um, is stopping you from slapping a bitch? Yeah, because like, <laughs> <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> because like, so within like buddhist thought you know a lot of people know that like reincarnation rebirth is what like buddhism is all about and so um in meditations on love um basically what you do is like so from the perspective of rebirth there's literally not a single sentient being in the universe that has not been my mother Mm. or my father because time like samsara which is like this like state of conditioned being that we're stuck in um because it's beginningless and endless we've been cycling through it so many times like we've had so many different relations with all these other beings that um like i said uh there hasn't been a single sentient being that hasn't been my mother and so you kind of reflect on that and you and you think about like you usually start with a being who is easy to deal with and you think about how from their perspective um, they want nothing but happiness and to be free from suffering and you and you contemplate that and you really um, feel that you know and then you move on to like a neutral being someone who hasn't really helped you or harmed you and you, you think about that same thing um, and then you move on to a difficult person um, and think about that same thing because really like that's all we want as as human beings is to to have lasting happiness and to be free from suffering it's just that we all go about it in very different ways you know we have we all have very different minds and very different um different perspectives on the world and so for me um that has really helped me uh, develop patience with people um, especially nowadays when there's so much hatred in the world um, to be able to recognize that you know these people that are so filled with hate I shouldn't be angry with them I should be angry with their hatred because these people that are so ignorant um, to hate them for that would be almost like hating fire for burning Mm -hmm. it's only natural it's only natural for an immature being to conduct itself ignorantly and and angrily um, because it's not as though um, it's not as though when we encounter like a difficult situation we think I'm gonna be angry now it's a natural like reaction Um, Mm -hmm. and so to recognize that pretty much every being is under the control of like these harmful emotions um, is really liberating in a way because it's like I understand you I understand that you're stuck in bad ways of thinking and you don't really choose to be hateful it's just kind of your nature but ultimately really we all have the nature of love and compassion because Mm -hmm. if it weren't for the idea of relatives 
then we would just love each other equally. Like, imagine, imagine if all of the human beings on this planet could love each other as a species, you know, to, to see you, to see you and see you're another human being. Why, why, why shouldn't I love you? Mm-hmm. Why, why shouldn't I want, like, your well-being? Because, like, just as the hand doesn't stop and think, why should I um, protect the foot? Because it's separate from me. They're connected. And so in that same way, like, you guys are an extension of life, just like me. And so, yeah. I don't know. Kind of derailed it there. <laughs> I don't really have an opportunity to, like, talk about this kind yeah, of yeah, stuff yeah. often, so. Dude, like, because you're pretty open about it. Do people ever, like, think that like, you're acting like you're better than them at all? So um, do you get that a lot? Not not really. Um, I... He thinks you think you're better than people. No. No. I, and if, if, <laughs> if you do, I would understand. I said that because I thought when you were telling me that, I said something to someone. I was like, we were talking about something. I don't know. I don't know what it was. And I was like, I don't think I'd do that, or I think I would do that, but I think I think it's just because I have a different mindset than you guys. And he was like, Oh, you think you're better us? It's like, No, I just, I don't think you'll understand why I do it because I think this way, and I don't think. I don't even remember, like, who said what or what yeah. it was about. Or it was to the point where, I, like, I don't understand why you would do that or wouldn't do that. But I think it's just our mind's different. It, was like, it wasn't saying, I wasn't trying to say I was better than them or they were better than me or whatever. It was just like, yo, we both think this way. And I just, that's why. Yeah. That was what I was trying to say. Like, you think that way, I think that way. That's That's it. And they, they, yeah. they made it sound like, oh, you think you're better than us? Yeah. I mean, sometimes sometimes my girlfriend... I'm an asshole, though. I said, if you think so, <laughs> I think I said that. But I didn't mean it like that. I was yeah, like, yeah. After it was, he said it, was I was joking. like... It was like a yeah. joking thing, you know? Um, but, no, sometimes my girlfriend mm-hmm. can can kind of feel that way. You want that line. And I understand that because, like, I... I always, anytime I'm engaging with someone, I try to do my best to think on this training. Because this, this, like what I talked about, it's mm. it's training. It's like, it pretty much goes against everything that we normally think. Is trying trying to view everyone as like equal in that way. Um, and so, anytime that I engage with someone, I, I try to basically let my words pass through three different gates of like is it true is it necessary Mm. is it kind um and sometimes i i i feel like yeah maybe maybe i do come across as pompous but but i don't what i'm saying well thank you because (laughs) because that's something i struggle with a lot is trying trying not to appear arrogant but like at the same time it's like in my heart i know that my intention is to be kind is to is to try to uphold virtue because it's in my opinion that this human life that we that we have is so precious that the, our wisest use of it again this is in my opinion mm-hmm. our wisest use of, of this human life is to put good in this world because even if even if at death there is this total cessation this just complete oblivion um then I will have left behind. I've, I will have dedicated my life to virtue, and left behind a legacy of kindness. And I, in my opinion, I don't think there's anything better than that. Hmm. Oh, deep shit, bro. Yeah. But I, I like listening to you, bro. I like hearing that shit. You uh, know, different perspective, different. Yeah. Kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I definitely always feel like I'm trying to be. Well, I'm not gonna say that nowadays. I've been kind of bad lately. Nah, dude. Like <laughs> our society is so is so like the opposite of that. It's mm. so it's so ego driven. It's like competitive. It's like I gotta be better. Than yeah. You. I gotta because it's 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 me. Mm. Fuck you. <laughs> You're not me. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. And there's not mm. there's not necessarily anything wrong with that as long as you're not harming anyone. In my opinion. What if you're hurting you know? people's feelings? I mean, I think there's a little joker in me, yo. Like, yeah, 
Like, I thought I was Batman my whole life, but I, no, I think I'm the Joker sometimes. What? And I feel like <laughs> I'm the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I'm like, an asshole. I like seeing certain people fucking... No, I don't want to say certain people, but I like... Batman does, too. No. Dude. I like to see the world burn natural. a little bit. Sometimes. It's natural to, to, like, see, like, bad things happen to bad people and be like... Yeah, you fucking deserve that. Yeah. It's almost, it's natural. <laughs> Remember you know? third grade, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so, like, I don't, I don't mean to ridicule you or anyone, you know, for, for that. I need it, though. <laughs> I might need it, though. I'm like, I, I might, I don't, I don't mind when people tell me I'm wrong or, especially if they can explain it to me. Like, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to listen. Articulate it to me. Make me but understand. sometimes I yeah. just gotta hurt your feelings. Dude, sometimes that's the best thing <laughs> that can happen to someone is to have their feelings I think that's hurt. probably part of the work and where we work at. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Back in the day. Maybe. You know, had to be ruthless, man. Maybe. You had to dish it because you knew you were going to take something. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm never not like that anywhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. With my friends, I could make that. Huh? You know what I mean? With my friends, I'm like sarcastic. I'm like, ass. You know what I mean? But yeah, but I'm not like, y'all. Like, but if I, like if that, I just make a joke about y'all, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Actually, most of the time, I'm not trying to hurt their feelings, but sometimes I know what to say. Yeah. That you choose, I know you it's choose your words them. carefully. Yeah. It's funny. It's but, funny. But because you, know? you want some back, though. You, you kind of like, yeah, yeah, because you want to see like, what they're going to say. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes, sometimes I know what I'm going to say is about the mini end all be all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, like nothing's funny. better than thinking you got the end all be all. That's and true. And then they hit you back with the one That's you're true. Like, mm, That's because mm, I like good ones. So yeah. If you get me and it's good. I said, I don't fuck with Charles. This Yo, I, always gets me. Man. See, it's the same thing. Like, he's one of those people where like he'll get me, and I won't say nothing. Yeah, because that's I don't, I, mean. I don't that. know how to, I don't know how to not take it there with Charles. And I, I made Charles shut the fuck up a couple times, and I feel bad because I actually fuck with Charles. And Charles will do anything in the world for you, but he'll jab at you, jab at you, jab at you, jab at you. Yeah, and there's been times where I was like da 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 da, and he just get quiet. <laughs> And then Damn. I feel bad. Cause, yeah, because so. it's like you realize, like, wait, that, did I take it too real far? Because yeah. real shit. I like to throw a little, I like to sprinkle a little bit of truth to some shit, <laughs> and it, that seems to bother people more than anything. Of course, yeah. Me, when it's true to me, I laugh because yeah. I like truth. I, I think lies aren't funny to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lies. So you hit me with some truth, I'm gonna laugh. So that shit, you not said, everyone wow, can take that. Not everybody, yeah. Not everybody yeah. can take the truth. So I like to sprinkle it. Truth hurts, but but no. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit. But no, nah, I dude, I can talk about like meditation, Buddhism, stuff like that for hours. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Now might be a good time. Sometimes I like I'll go through something. I'm like, man, what would Christian do? Or something be happening. I'm like, wonder what Christian doing or how he using his meditation. Or uh, or sometimes I'm wondering like, if I did this, would this help me? do something I want to do or something. I don't know. Well, I take, have questions. Take, I just, I forget them all. Take, take this with you guys. Um, there's a there's a short little stanza in one of my favorite books called The Way of the Bodhisattva. The Way of the Booty? Who? The Way of the Booty Man. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. <laughs> we all talk about booty on this podcast. <laughs> Christian, before you, hey, before you go into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you eat booty? <laughs> Is this a real question? This, yeah, I got it. Is this a real question? I got to know. Because it's like, who does it? <laughs> is this a real question? Dude, my, my answer is... No! Hey, you no! Be, you be I, fucking surprised. Dude, I don't understand it. Like... I don't know. I don't either. I, I don't knock it. Like, <laughs> dude, I not. You, you want to fucking no, tongue punch no. a fart box? Go for it. I'm not. But I'm either. gonna do it, and I straight up told my girlfriend, like, dude, she I love you so. No, no. She's like, she's like, no, no, no. But I told her, I was like, you do I love you. Shit. I love you, <laughs> Aurora. I love you so much. I'm but not I, putting my that, But I love you and not your booty hole. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I can love you. My girl would try to kick that. my fucking head off if I try some shit like that. I'm trying to tell you. Are you telling me that's not the pussy? 
<laughs> My tongue slipped. I could. This, we were going about this uh, last time, last podcast, two weeks ago. Oh, and shit. I just brought it up because it was just at work. I don't even remember. And then, so I started asking everybody. <laughs> And this is not the first time this has happened. I've asked people before. Do you need a poll? <laughs> I, yo, I told them not to. Yo, don't come near my desk. I said, I don't want your eyes coming near my desk. I don't want pink eye from any of y'all shit. I said, y'all, we ain't never sharing cups. <laughs> y'all keep that eye. shit talk away from me. <laughs> <laughs> y'all keep y'all that shit talk away from me. I don't want, the, I don't want nothing to do with so this. Hard, man. But that, yeah, I just find it funny. Like, do you, but it's not for me. <laughs> yes, I mean, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> That's my favorite one. I'm not with it, but live your best life, I guess. Yeah, for real. I mean, as long as you're not going around pulling people's pants down. (laughs) Give me that one. I mean, go for it. That's right. Whatever you do, (laughs) and and then, like, the privacy of your own home that isn't harming people. If your girl came, and there was this meme of this, this. and then, like, a, the inside of a person's ass, <laughs> asshole, Tell right? me more. And so, like, then you see where the asshole's at, and there's a tongue sticking through it with a bunch of little poopy men, like, around <laughs> it. Oh, and they was like, what? this is your chances, you know what I mean? Like, this is what you're gambling with? Yeah. Like, it's not like that. There was one, one of them were drawing, like, a, I guess they were counting the tallies, tally marks. Like, yeah, times and they're like, I wonder what that's for. I said, that's how many times a tongue has gone inside. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking shit. funny though. It was good. That shit was funny. Wow. It's just funny because we were just talking about it. Then the meme popped up. Yeah, and, it just and there was somebody from work who put it up. Too, yeah, ironically, that's funny. Yeah. Not the Man, same guy. How often are you guys talking about fucking weird shit like that? stuff? Uh, <laughs> At work, I can't put a number on that. Countless. It, it comes around every once in a while. Talk about all sorts of shit we shouldn't talk yeah, about. Yeah, work is kind of our job is kind of crazy. I told y'all when I went to canteen, I came from a dark place. Y'all thought I was playing. I come from a dark place. No, and for some reason, even, I decided to go back. We can't even, like, put words to, like, describe <laughs> the so, shit we fucking went through. It's kind of bad, bro. That's probably not even the worst thing we've talked about. Nah, I can't think of race. anything worse right definitely now. Definitely race. <laughs> <laughs> definitely some of the worst things we've talked about. Yeah. Family members. I don't go on your family. I don't, I don't either, but people do. We're talking about their own. It family. depends on what it is. <laughs> I'm talking about your family. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. I. Dude. It's dude. one thing to say something about a family member. You kind of. Nah, you know, I'm gonna, it's probably I'm good. Gonna, I don't I'm gonna, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm be saying some existential shit to people. I mean, they try to roast me, and then I get fired because like <laughs> they have an existential crisis and go tell HR or something. Nah, not they here. Some shit. Like they really didn't fuck with me a whole lot. Like a little bit here and there, but like. Well, I won't get it back. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'll, not, I'll give it back, but when I give it back, it's usually like. They kind of get mad about yeah. it, you know, because it gets like, real. Yeah, it's like, like, and I'm like, well, you hit me with like a thousand to... of your punches, and yeah. I just hit you with one punch worth a thousand. <laughs> yeah, and now you want to get mad. The, like, the three inch punch yeah. to the heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yo, what is wrong? Like, you weren't supposed to actually hurt my feelings. Like I remember Jeff one time that he was making fun, he making was fun of me some guys. shit. And I was like, he made fun of me, it was like Friday. And I was like, hey man, alright, I'm, I'm out. I was like, um, I'm going to go home to my family, you know, my wife, my beautiful kids that I live with. <laughs> Is he a little old oh, or something? Shit. He, 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 uh, <laughs> he has a baby mom that used to work with us too. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I had a kid with her too. And I was like, Thanks. and like, but I, I, I said it, it, but I wasn't really like, yeah. Just, and then, like, yo, he got mad. He ain't like that shit at all. The worst <laughs> thing for Jeff is that his mom would come in. Oh, my God. And his mom was kind of hot. Yeah, for her age. Oh, damn. She's that so guilt. every time she came yeah. through. <laughs> and I always make cookies and shit. She, yeah, she bring cookies Mommy, and shit. I need chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yo, Matt used to kill this <laughs> dude, Jeff, every time his mom The came one time in. she walked in and asked for him. And oh, asked for Matt. Asked oh, Jeff for Matt. Lord. And I heard it because I was at the hunger <laughs> machine. So I heard her say it. So I was like, yo, Matt. Yo, Jeff's mom was asking for you. He was like, what? And I was like, Jeff's mom. And he was like, I'm going to use this shit. Damn, <laughs> yeah, man. It was just fuel. It was R. Bastille, R. Day R. For R. But Jeff one of those people who fucking poke you. 
Yeah, man. All day, yeah. every day. Yeah. And then he finally get him, he get red in he the face. He was good at drawing, so he had these, like, drawings. He'd draw people. Like caricatures of yeah. people. And he had one. Oh, man. the one with Jason? No, he look had, at that shit. He had one with me and fucking Diego, my other buddy, another Spanish dude. And we were, like, we were surrounded by KKK members. They'll have hoods. What and, the fuck? And, like, fuck? trees lynched, like, shit oh my lynched. God. But we're not lynched yet. We're, like, in the crowd. In there. line. But we know what's happening. <laughs> what like, the God. Fucked up, but funny. <laughs> so I can't. What is nigga job? So Dude, I never saw that. funny. I stuck it in the back of my clipboard. I was like, this is fucking good. Like, that is funny, but oh, my God. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's definitely not a way to gamble with your life. <laughs> Um, That's why we st- I started collecting some of the shit he draw. I was like, "Yo, if ever it goes down, I got evidence on right, it, bro. Fast. I'm gonna get this check." <laughs> so, <laughs> then there was one year when my buddy Diego, the same guy, got pulled over. There was a year that we had a bunch of fires, brush fires, yeah, and it was a really bad afraid. one out on Bayside. And like, so I guess somebody called Seems in that they great. saw suspected. They suspected there was a guy in a blue four door car. <clears throat> What's the wow, guy? there's not I many of those. Four-door <laughs> car. Yes, we were supposed to hang out that night, and then he never came through, and I was like, what? And then he never went to work. Oh, and everybody Jesus. was asking me, they like, yo, him. you know about him? And I'm like, nah, I don't know where Diego's at. And then I talked to his mom. After I was like, yeah, because I asked him, she's like, oh, no. And she told me, like, I put over, he went to jail. Because he got put over, and then he, had and a, he, he found out he had a suspended license that he didn't know about. So... It was like both of them shit. They threw his ass in jail. So, anyways, wow. not story short, Jeff fucking drew a fucking character. He drew a fucking thing, and it was Diego. Diego had has a fucking nose, like a pronounced nose, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> bro, he drew a picture of this man wearing a fucking flamethrower <laughs> with trees all around, oh halfway burnt, with the flamethrower going out, and it looks just like him. Like it was so <laughs> fucking damn, funny, man. That, that does sound pretty it, funny. It was like, it's like he's definitely crossing lines, but oh, yeah. they're so funny. You like, yeah. can't help but he, like, he just laugh. laugh. Yeah, yeah. Like, he would say something like he knew was out of line and he'd make this face Ooh. while walking back. Ooh. Yeah, waiting for the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what? I hate that. Cool, like, what? You can't even get, you can't get mad at those bro. things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's such an idiot, bro. I miss yeah. him. He did that doggy paddle dance. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking retard, bro. Nah. Yo, you played Uncharted? Never. Oh, I, I like, didn't he look like that guy no. from fucking Uncharted, bro? He looked just like Jeff. That. Always reminded me because he was more of a meathead when I first started working there. But he reminded me of um, remember Abra Monsters? Yeah. Remember the dude who oh. used to hold his eyes? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it was Jeff would remind me of. I don't know why. Damn. What? Damn. That's funny. Dude, that's not nice. I You're insulting that a show monster. Was <laughs> I missed that show. That show was funny. That show was probably trash, but I liked it as a kid. I liked that as a kid. I liked the little purple thing. The one I grow up. With the lips? Did he get pissed off? Did he get big? Oh, yeah, he get yeah. pissed off. Man. He fucking get all big. I get all red. <laughs> Scaring the shit out of kids. That was a wacky ass show. That was weird. It was probably trying. I probably watched it like, what the fuck yeah. is this shit? Why did I like this? <clears throat> I don't know, because it's monsters. That shit was kind of weird. They were weird looking. That little black and white insect thingy. I don't know what she was. I don't she know. like a paperclip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, a marble paperclip. The fucking Microsoft Office paperclip guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So fucking weird. It's like, look, he did a backflip. Click it again. Click it again. <laughs> See what he does this time. I need more help. Slip into more it. Help. I'm done with y'all. All right, we calling it, boys. Yes, sir. I gotta go eat dinner. I'm yeah, calling. for real. Yeah, wifey cooking downstairs. Yeah, I, I want to leave it with one thing. Contemplate oh, this. Shit. Contemplate this. So, all of the misery in the world exists as a result of cherishing the self. All of the true happiness that exists in the world results from cherishing others. Boom. I am no one to learn. Think about that. <laughs> I was just about to say something funny. Like when you when you said it the way you said it, I was like, uh, and I was like, you know what? Another time. <laughs> I was gonna say when you pour water in a teacup, it becomes. <laughs> it becomes a teacup. <laughs> <laughs>
Y'all stupid, bro. All right, bro. What that was, this episode? Like, like five, five, six, cinco. Episode five, baby. We in it. Be. We out, we yo. Out YouTube. Hopefully, I'm more frequent. I know I've been trash. We'll be back here next week. That's it. Any news? Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that motherfucking like bell like on the side. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, don't, and hey, hit the bell on the side. Don't be useless. Be ruthless. Be ruthless. Trash? Uh.